Hey guys, what is going on? This is Locknock1 slash Dragon. Welcome back to part 18 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. Last time, we were fighting the Polystralians on their territory. They did not shoot down my Tactat Hub that I deployed over their city, which is giving us extra healing and defense in that zone. We're bringing in reinforcements while trying to heal up our units and prepare for invasion of Um, I don't think they'll last very long. And over here, we're trying to heal up our... Uh, three apostles hopefully they can sneak around do some damage if not anything just screw with the polystralians and get a peace declaration out of them so as is uh let's see here we could just invade this guy in fact i'm going to and ooh, hello there kala we can definitely burn that city down i want to move my guys like a block um hopefully you know what um let's just have this guy heal up for now over here, we definitely want to remove this uh, forest and just build a generator. And this guy, I think we can delete this guy. We have enough workers, I think, everywhere that this one won't be too critical. And the war for Kessim wa uh wages on. Rages on, I suppose, is the correct phrasing of that. These guardians are really, really scary when they're deployed in cities. And that's exactly what they've done. They're coming up with some good reinforcements here. Uh, this is where it'd be nice to have some overseers in the region. Unfortunately, we're at a shameful lack of overseers. Uh, we only have one. That said, he's definitely going to help take out this Australian battle suit this turn. Ooh, the Apostle engages the alien. Did give him any experience? No sir, he did not, because he is one hit away from being a veteran. And he has 98 health. Alright, so we can definitely put some pressure on Kala right now. Probably take it out. And the Australians have LEV tanks now, so that's bad. Want to avoid that. Uh, those are very, very, very good. We are not going to go for Harda. Harda is way too defended. 65 combat strength. We would need to have a full-on invasion force. Kassim Patan is having, giving us issues with only 31 combat strength. Um, we could roll up on, in it and kill it. That said, uh, I kind of want to get guys on that side of the fence first. So we can hit it twice at the same turn. Um, and the other thing is I don't want them retaking it. I don't want to have to shuffle the city around. I want their units decisively dead. So let's hit them with their reinforcements here. Like that, we can really put pressure on these Polystralians. I'm going to hit this guy, why not? That's what I get for screwing with the PAC. Okay. All right, we get finished our bio well here, so we can begin building uh, yet another, um, what do you call him, generator. And this guy can probably move out here and build us something next turn as well. We want to get him out into the action, and we want this one to heal up. He's going to heal up faster in the ca in Ganserig, so we'll just might as well put him there. And they're finally having a beast treaty for one energy per turn. No siree, we would rather see you fall, because it'll be amusing, then have one energy per turn. And I think we might be able to just do some serious, serious damage to Kala next turn. Yup. No peace. No war. I like my foreign policy as it is. In four turns, we'll have hypercomputing and the ability to build hypercores. Um, we won't, we'll only be really be able to be build maybe two of them. Blah, 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 words. And it, it'll be questionable as to whether or not we even want to do that. Um, I think we probably will, but... Okay, so he wants us to give him some petroleum. Why not? Aliens are invading Tan. What is this? They killed a worker? Unacceptable. Alright, we'll kill him. I'm honestly surprised about that. 
genuinely. Uh, didn't see that coming. Well, culture developed. So, again, we are one synergy away from getting this massive kicker. Um, well, not massive. 5% is good, though. In military, and we can also get Channeled Wrath right here, which give 10%. So, if you're doing the math, that is 15% to our entire armies everywhere. So, to give you an idea, 15% is a lot. That's an additional 15 combat strength when you have a comparative of 100 already. Hopefully we'll take out Kala this turn. Raise that city. And uh, we might be able to sneak in out back and just keep hammering the Polystralians until they give us an actually decent de deal. I do want to take Kesapatan though, I'll be honest. It's on my list of things that look incredibly fun to do. It's, I would like to do them. I'm actually just going to heal with this guy because he's not high enough veterancy that if he killed this sentinel he'd live. He would actually die. Let's keep on getting our guys to the front line. This apostle can heal up. And this one, we can engage this guy. Show them who's boss. Alrighty. Um, what we could do now is build us some overseers. That could be actually nice. We definitely need more of them um, if we want to put pressure on anything. Or educators. Educators could be a very good alternative. Especially because soon enough they're going to be a great siege unit. Um, I'd like that. So let's go ahead and do that in the cities where we have nothing really better to build at the moment. Let's get us another generator. And this guy can probably build a generator out here in this tundra. Alright, keep on removing those forests. I don't know why the aliens thought it was a smart idea to hit me there. Uh, that just seems like a tactically bad idea. So they're going to pound Kala. Not that it matters. The thing will be burned down by next turn. I might take the opportunity to hit that guardian with my apostle. So they will continue doing whatever they can to injure me. They cross the river there with the Sentinel. That will not pan out on their part to be too good. And we will continue to see a little army of apostles here going crazy in the enemy territory like special forces. It's wonderful. I mean, to some extent they are special forces. They help each other out in such unique uh, combinations. I don't understand what, what, like, how are these aliens even doing this. What is this? Is this a, is this a joke? All right, right up to nine health, pretty much instantly. Um, as soon as we that city burned down, I'll give you some idea how much health these cities take up. I actually want to heal him up. We will move this guy forward. Um, I would like him to heal. I don't want to push into enemy territory with an injured unit. And we can continue doing that trade for some really good science and energy. Or, you know, trade around. I'm thinking this trade out to Ninit 10 just looks way too juicy to pass up. Another bio well completed, and we can go ahead and start doing more stuff. So we do have a, fun a bunch more bio wells out here. We can probably lock in some of these bio wells. Yep, looks good. And some more stuff to build. I'm thinking what we might want to build here is an organ printer, because we haven't been able to do that yet here. That is some very good science. Out here in Huanle, uh, looks like... What's the health like here? Not too... Well, I mean, we can pick up one more health and want to furnish everything in one turn with its cider nursery. So we might as well. And this guy will terminate this battle suit. Go Apostles. Supremacy for the win! Okay, so now I believe it's time to put pressure on Kesempatan. And we're gonna do that by... These are all hills. That's unfortunate. Who's the higher rank? Not you. Not you. You're both pretty low rank, all things considered. Um, let's move these guys over the hills here. And unfortunately, um, we could move 
these guys in a position to attack, but we'd have to shift our stuff around, and this guy wouldn't get a heal out of it. Um, so it doesn't look too wise to me. Let's kill this guy first and see if we can't move around a little bit. Can we, yeah, we can move on to that tile. Wonderful. It's really what I want to do. And, you know what? Uh, moving here would give a little more protection to these two units, so I will. This trade convoy can continue, or maybe we want to... We already are trading to the capital with it, so yes, this looks good. Here, remove this miasma. And... I believe we can keep on building generators. Food is not any anymore an issue in Kuyan. Certainly not. This worker here can finish our bio well. Just like that, Tan has yet another source of wonderful food. Which I'd like to actually focus, if the city would be so kind. And these generators need to be constructed. Generators are ultimately where we get our value of Tan. Tan is an economy city, and it's working none of the tiles right now. But I just want it to grow. Our health is up to 14 now. That's nutty. And we will continue to put the pressure on. Ooh. Weaken us, weakening us a little bit here. Not too, Nothing too scary, I don't think. And it looks like Kesapatan may fall next turn, which will be glorious. We'll be getting hypercomputing uh, next turn as well. Swatis Gord. All very good stuff. Braxite mines have been very unkind to me this game. AI prevents bad operators from using computers to conduct useless tasks at high speeds to many degrees of vacuous precision. Oh boy. Terminology. Alrighty. Time to get no uploading. And then hopefully at the end of that, we will be on our way. To completing the game and winning so we do have options to build hypercores now and the thing is is we don't have that much for Axite, so we can basically build two of them the question is where do we want those two hypercores I think the capital is an obvious choice so we'll queue one up there now the alternative is where are we getting our second most amount of science and then those two cities really have to be hard science focused. The answer is Kuyin. Kuyin is giving us a lot of science. So we will queue up a hypercore there as well. And we finished our Soma Distillery, so health is through the roof pretty much everywhere. It's now time to build educators if we want to put military pressure on people. That's what we need. And yeah, that's definitely what we need. Um, Tan, what do we want to do here? Um, I'm thinking we, if we just build some basic pharma labs uh, and the clinic and get our health up even more than we already have it. And veterancy is to be gained. Alright, seasoned. I don't think we can... Oh, Kesapatan upgraded to 66 defense just like that. And that's going to prevent us from taking it for a little while longer. Let's surround it at least. That much can be done. And see if we can't start pounding it. Next turn we'll give uh, it a shot and see if we can't take it out. For now these guys have to heal up and he can come back into range of the main army. This bio is completed and let's see if we can actually get that plantation up. Our special forces out here, I will continue to heal them up until they're at 90 health each. Alright, Tiangong is a good trade partner, and this apostle is all healed up, so we can actually get him back to the front lines. All these guys can heal, and this worker here is good and ready to produce a generator. Generators are useful now. And they are, again, still focusing the one unit that can't really threaten them. Don't know how much of a tactical choice that was on the AI's part, because now we can hit them with four Apostles and one Overseer this turn. And that will surely bring them close to their knees. Also upgrade all of our units. 
six six affinity is uh, sorry that much experience is quite a lot so and these guys these special forces are all healed up we can get them rolling on another little military crusade I love it these guys are veterans these guys are veterans as well seem to be experts Probably not actually because we used them to heal. So we have two veterans and they're basically all experts. Let's just uh, do a little bit of an incursion here. See if we can't see what there is to see. Looks like there's more cities up there. If they're not as enforced. We can definitely use the special forces to take it down. And let's just bomb Kessel Baton. And we begin with our strongest unit. Who is our strongest unit? Not the injured one, I don't think. Uh, let's see. 36 damage. 34. 31. 31. It is, in fact, him. Can we get... We can get another adjacency bonus before he actually has to attack. I'll get up to 37 damage. Wonderful. Yes, it looks like we will be taking the city this turn. Excellent job! Praise be to supremacy! Now, do we want to keep this city? This is an important question. Um, Kesem Patan does have 11 people in it, so it will decrease our health considerably. Um, that said, it does have access to Firaxite that we want, um, and that could be useful to us to build more hypercores or something. Um, it's also a great forward operating base for continued incursions into the Polystrelian territory. So we definitely can't burn it down. Um, do we want to puppet it, though? Puppeting it will increase our unhealth by 12, bring us to 8. Annexing it will do something comparable, if not more. Uh, we will never really get be able to produce things out of Kesapatan. But it might be worth annexing it. Um, question is, is it really worth it? I'm thinking puppeting would be nice, but I'm not certain. Hmm. Let's... Annexing it will decrease um, the science that we... The, it will increase the cost of science stuff, so maybe let's just create a puppet. We want to keep the cost of science stuff down. Ooh, hello there, Sarek. That's certainly our next step in the line. Um, let's just go ahead and heal our guys up now. They're all in friendly territory. So we won the battle there. Certainly we needed those reinforcements when we got them, which was very nice. And we can begin doing all sorts of juicy trades. Let's get him back to the front line. We might want to build a mag rail now. That could be nice. Um, increase our... Get us... Get, blah, blah, decrease the travel times considerably between locations so we can get reinforcements where we need them, when we need them. That said, I'd like to just finish building some of these generators. Alright, um, this trade looks good still. Maybe this one's better. Certainly better for Kiss and Baton, but Gongran's getting a lot of yields out of this too, so... Not altogether better. And that brought our health down a little bit. Oh well. My goal here is not to lose a Special Forces unit. I want to keep them alive. Keep them bothersome and keep them alive. Good that this thing has 57 combat strength, though. Alright, just like that, we got some season upgrades. I'm sure, when all these guys are upgra uh, healed up, they will be a very fearsome fighting force. Let's go ahead and march in. Pick him out. I want to get our guys into the actual side. That's relevant. Get the rest of them healing. This educator. Um, hmm, we could go ahead and take out that alien nest with it. In fact, I think we will, because right now they're not too, too useful. Um, let's just move over this hill. See what there is to see. Looks like a new city of sorts. That is just so much for Axite. And totally inaccessible to us, unfortunately. Alright, so Tan has built its health buildings. Um, and it is now time to actually start building some good old yields out of it. So, let's go ahead and grab us the laboratory in one turn. Let's 
queue up a bunch of stuff. Lab, and then right after that, I'd like to get the old Earth Relic. Then the network. And then we'll see what there is to do after that. Alright, so this worker is done. Doing what he must do. And I want to send him up to build mag rails. But they are free for us supremacy folk. They merely require us to have some workers on standby. Not too big a cost. So they are artillery bombing our apostle here, and I don't think he really cares. This empire of the Brazilians is so grand. But does it compare to the glories of the PAC? I do not think so. Do not screw with the PAC. They will come for you. I am coming to realize now that I did not start the timer for this episode. So, I have no concept of how much longer to go, because we have been going for a while. So, you know, I'm going to add five minutes, and we'll end it then. I think we've been going for at least 15. Alrighty, let's get this trade right back to Tiangong. And this one! Hmm, still looks good. Still looks dandy. Organ printer out of Gongren, which means we have a bunch of options now. Um, hmm, I'm thinking the thorium reactor is probably high time to do that, considering our energy needs. Oh boy, Mava's right there. This guy is going to get a pummeling unless we get him some backup. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a wise place to get backup. Definitely bring our heralds in. Haven't done that yet. Um, and they will finally be able to contribute to the action again. So, given that he could get absolutely rickety rickety wrecked by Mava, this LEV tank, the Punisher, and the Sentinel, I think it might be wise to give him a little bit of backup. Hmm, how can we give him more backup? So I give him an adjacency bonus there, that'll help, certainly. And get this guy there, maybe this guy here. And we'll have him heal there. We're kind of just trying to deal with the mistake we made. Aha, Rahi, Rahi will burn. It is certain truth. There is so much Varaxite up here. And our reinforcements arrive. Alright, we finished that mag rail. Sorry, that uh, generator. So now we can begin building mag rails, I think. It would be wise. And this guy can go ahead and bombard. Killing aliens with futuristic artillery. Totally, totally relevant and worth it. Of course. Of course, but of course. Let's heal that worker up. Let's see if we can't take out Rahi next turn. This trade convoy must prioritize yields for the capital, so we will. And like that, we are building the hypercore in the capital, and we will have a Soma distillery out in Kuyin shortly. So the hope here is that he'd live. Might not happen. He died. Alright, so that's what we got for careless positioning. Oh well, we have the reinforcements, and we have the information now. So, the goal is now to not make the same mistake again. And your attempts to stop our special forces from taking out Rahi will be in vain. Let's check out the Polystyrelian score as we take their cities. Hello, me. Wonderful. That's how I like it. And how does the 12 Suzanne Fielding has? Oh boy. Um, you know, those aliens are actually going to be an issue. So... We might actually want to move one such unit out that way. Can we spare one such unit? And how quickly could he get there? Three turns. Just a little too long for my tastes. Um, these guys aren't really doing anything at the moment. 
they're not in a particularly good position to defend from Brazilians, and I think we kind of scared the Brazilians off, to be totally honest with you. Um, so we did have a covert op in Tiangong, just kind of doing nothing for the longest time, protecting from intrigue. We can definitely shift him back into just returning to HQ, and that'll give us just that little bit more health. So all of our spies are giving more than two health at this point, something like 2.18. No, no, less than that. Sorry, my math was silly there for a moment. And I definitely don't want these guys on the front lines. Um, geez, let's get him into the city. I'm just trying to secure nice forwards for all these units. I mean, this Technet Hub is going to help on defending the city considerably. We might want to think about dropping one between Maeva and Sarek. As far as combat goes here, um, I want to take out this guy right now. And just like that, time is up, guys. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.